Cam Redden, and this is your homecoming on 2 SR FM. This time of the day, we talk TV with Ellen Kirkness. Hi, Ellen. Hey. How are you going? I'm good. How are you? Good. Very good. Uh, now, today, a Netflix original we're looking at, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt starring Ellie Kemper. This is your binge watch pick for the week. What's this all about? I know, literally, I'm going in blind here. I know nothing about it. So tell us, what's, what's this all about? Well, Kimmy is a girl that was locked in a bunker when she was 15 years old. And she was in there for 15 years with three other girls. And both seasons follow her coming to grips with normal life living in New York City. And it's set today, isn't it? 15 years ago yeah, to, it's set today. to today. Yeah, today, which is fantastic because you see like the 15-year gap in her language in the fact that she didn't know what a selfie was and <laughs> like things like that. It's, it's just hilarious because... She uses words like home slice and yeah. and G money and it's just hilarious. Haven't heard since the mid nineties. <laughs> no, yeah. and she's just oblivious and so naive to the fact that the world has changed so much. They're just all in their own world and they're kind of all in their own bunker in a sense. So do we know why they were the locked away? There's fifteen years in a bunker. Do we know why that was the case, or is that too much she just spoiler? Got kidnapped. Got kidnapped. She's got kidnapped. This is a comedy, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's the funny thing. It seems so dark, but it's not. It's actually hilarious. Like the reverend who kidnaps Kimmy and mm. three other women, mm. he just acts like it's been like this post-apocalyptic world. So yeah. he traps four girls down there and claims that the world has ended. There's fire monsters so that they're so petrified to leave that they just don't. It's quite beautiful when they get rescued in the very first episode, like mm. first 10 seconds of the episode is them being rescued. Mm. And it's, it's just beautiful. She comes out of the bunker and she's got like the most adorable little face and she's like, oh my gosh, it's all here. And she's so shocked to know that the world isn't post-apocalyptic. Sounds like a winner, Ellen. Uh, give us a grade out of 10. I'd say 8. 8.5. Sounds good. There you go. So that's Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That's the Netflix original. Ellen's pick for a binge watch this weekend. If you're looking for a movie to fill a movie night for this week, Ellen, what have you got for us? Oh, definitely Miss Congeniality. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Sandy B is just a legend in this. Good old Sandra Bullock. I, I've always thought of this one. It's in that realm of sort of legally blonde chick flick type Like Legally blonde is the best. Look, I think it's just inevitable. At some point, everybody's going to be roped into a chick flick, aren't they? So what what is it that makes this one less painful than the others? I just think it's perfect for women. Like, <laughs> I know that's like a chick flick yeah. is so sick. But for me, like being a girl that struggled with girly girlish, tomboyish, like kind of attitudes and everything sandy b wraps all this up in a really beautiful way like playing gracie lou freebush <laughs> and pretending to be uh what is it uh miss universe pageant yeah, that's yeah. right i totally forgot the name for that she goes into the miss universe pageant undercover yeah um and it's just beautiful because she started out as this really frumpy looking kind of masculine energy that she thought she had to be to survive in like the environment that was the FBI and it was really true no one took her seriously if she was going to be feminine Mm. and then she transforms into this beautiful looking woman Mm. and everything and she still still maintains like her masculinity and everything but she realizes that it's not just about being black and white it's not just about Mm. being feminine or masculine she and in the end she turns out to be like both those elements of a woman and she becomes herself I think Hmm. like she's allowed, like she feels like she's allowed to be masculine and feminine at the same time and work in the FBI and be taken seriously, which I think is such a good message for young women and older women alike. Like it's just so perfect. Now we dished out a few tens last week too. uh, Oh, I'd say maybe eight. Maybe eight. Uh, Yeah, it's good. So a couple of solid ones to take away from the weekend. Eight and a half for um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, one to binge watch. And for a quick hit for a movie night, Miss Congeniality gets an eight. Ellen Kirk, let's chat next week. <laughs> See you then. Cam Redden, and this is your homecoming on 2SSR FM.